you said many times shiva means that which is not then again there is a you know adi guru adi yogi the shiva who lived in kailash who lived in kasi what is that like what is that which is not and what is this shiva whom you talk as adi yogi the shiva means that which is not when we say that which is not we are talking about a dimension which is not physical in nature because our perception our sense perception is such that we can only perceive that which is physical see right now you can see my hand because it's stopping light you can't see the air because it's not stopping light though the air that you breathe right now is more vital to your life than my hand isn't it but you can see this you can't see that in other words our senses are geared to see only what is required for our survival process anything more than that if you want to see you need a certain enhancement of perception so entire yogic system is enhancement of this perception yoga is not a philosophy it is not an ideology it's not something that you believe in or disbelieve in it is something that you use to enhance your perception to sharpen your perception in such a way you can see things that you're not seeing right now you can hear things that you're not hearing right now see right now the meteorological department is saying day after tomorrow it's going to rain you look and see does your eyes say that no it doesn't but i'm telling you there are many birds and animals here which all know the day after tomorrow it's going to rain and snow it's going to rain day after tomorrow but you don't know why they are probably experiencing something different is it a fact in the evolutionary process as human beings we have the most evolved neurological system yes but they know and we do not know simply because most human beings have burdened themselves with too much thought and too much em emotion they have not learned this fundamental how to handle their thought and how to handle their emotion so our own intelligence has become an impediment that we don't even see things that an ant sees or an elephant sees or a tiger sees or even a dog sees if you can't find out something you bring dogs to find out today isn't it <laughs> because this they seem to smell it out better they seem to know things better than you because of that we created instruments because we have an intelligence which is of a certain kind and which is still new to us if it, in evolutionary scale it's still new to us because of this we came up with tools mechanisms instruments so we can't see up there what is there so we put a telescope now meteorological department is not run by the ants it is run by human beings they themselves cannot see but they made instruments which will see yes the ants may be able to see by themselves for their survival we are not able to see because there is too much thought and emotion going on but now we came up with instruments which will see for us which will hear for us which will tell us things which we ourselves are not able to do so in this entire process what is visible and what is not visible what has a physical structure and what does not have a physical structure we started exploring all these things but the fundamental of our science or the pursuit of our science is called as physics physics is the only real science rest is all offshoots of that so when you say physics you have clearly stated you only want to study that which is physical this is a folly this is the biggest mistake we have made now we are saying only if it's physical it can be studied and it exists anything that is not physical does not exist is it a fact that your physical body is an accumulation yes over a period of time you accumulate it so if only this is real you as a person you as a life is not real this is what we are stating i'm saying this is where the fundamental flaw is so shiva means that which is not so we are talking about in some way accessing that which is not physical or which is not in the purview of so called physics or the modern science as we talking about it 
Today, modern science knows that there seems to be something beyond. So now they're saying your logic won't get you there, so they're inventing something called as fuzzy logic. But still it's not enough because still you're trapped in your own setups because it's physics. You are only willing to accept the physical as reality. That means your very life is not a reality. The life that you are is not a reality, only your body is reality. So we have developed an entire culture based on this. When you say Shiva, in a way you're transcending that limitation of cultural limitations, scientific limitations, the mindset limitations that people have. Then where did he come from? If you grasped certain things and you got a certificate, you have grasped certain aspects of human body, we will tell you, oh, she's doctor. So how did you become a doctor? Because you perceived something. So now, a yogi came, he never bothered to introduce himself. So we call him the first yogi. Adi yogi means the first yogi. Because he never told us his name. Then somebody said, but he is Shiva, because he has grasped that which is not. Because he has grasped that which is not, we also call him Shiva. So, right now, in the popular culture, he is Shiva, but in the spiritual culture, he is Adi Yogi. Because for him, for us, he is a yogi. That's why we are interested in him. Because he experienced that which is not, we also call him Shiva. Now, if you look here, the male members of the, the people who are sitting here, more than seventy percent of them, their names are some expression of Shiva. Have they realized something? Have they seen that which is not? No. But they are capable. So we know they are potential Shiva. So we… we call them also Shiva. We may even name our dog Shiva, okay? We don't think it's an offense. Because a dog does not know that which is not. A dog is not a yogi. The dog is not going to realize either in his life, but we know he also comes from the same source. As I came, as you came, he also comes from the same source. So we don't think it's a improper thing to call our dog also yoga. Some people are getting very offended that I said this. They can get offended because I don't think maybe they use the word dog as a derogatory term. I don't think there's anything derogatory about being a dog. Most people are trust a dog more than the human beings <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as I'm concerned, I can even call a grasshopper Shiva, and I do. If I see a tree, I say Shiva. If I see a rock, I say Shiva. If I just look into the empty sky, I say Shiva. If I see moon, I say Shiva. If I see star, I say Shiva. So, are these rocks going to realize that they're Shiva? No, they may not realize, but I have realized. That's a big difference <laughs>